Hello everyone, it's a surreal second week of June in the games industry this year as there is no E3. Sad times. But that doesn't mean there's no news. Here's what's been going on. Hero pools are being removed indefinitely from competitive play in Overwatch, Blizzard says on the official forums. Hero pools limit the playable heroes any given week in the game and were originally introduced to keep the meta from stagnating, but Blizzard now feels that it's been able to prevent this in other ways, namely more frequent hero balance updates and the experimental card, which has enabled the developer to try out some very unorthodox game modes and rule sets. And so hero pools are out, with no plans to reintroduce them to comp as yet. RIP. There's growing scrutiny over loot boxes here in the UK, with the government launching a call for evidence as concern mounts that they may be encouraging gambling-like behaviour in children. This follows the government's recommendation in September last year that loot boxes be regulated under the Gambling Act. And though we've seen many mainstream AAA releases shy away from loot boxes in the West since the Battlefront 2 debacle, that would obviously have massive ramifications for games that still rely on them. Looking at you, FIFA. And finally, Command & Conquer Remastered launched at the end of last week and has already been a roaring success, recording a peak of 42,500 concurrent players on Steam. That's 20,000 more than Dark Souls Remastered managed, for comparison's sake. Such success is quite a surprise for a new version of a 25-year-old game, but then it really is a fantastic remaster, as I explained in our review, which you can read on the site now. And that'll do it for another week. Stay safe out there and keep being nice to one another. We'll see you again soon. That camera's still running.